the, the sort of MCN buzzword uh, may be replaced by the OTT buzzword, uh, subscription video uh, online, and there's a ton of capital, right? So our friends at the Churning Group and AT&T have allocated north of $500 million to fund channels. Glenn Beck's subscription channel seems to be working. Paula Dean is coming out with a subscription channel, as are many others. The WWE has started off to sort of a tough start, but that's where they're going to. So what do you guys make of that landscape? How do you think about it? Uh, will it work? Will you invest there, broadly speaking? You first. Yeah. Danny, you're up. It just seems like, a, I mean, it's a bigger capital game than, than sort of where we tend to play. I mean, we're early stage investors. We invest, you know, three to five million dollars in kind of initial rounds in companies. So, you know, if you're comparing that to the 300, 500 million dollars that the churning groups put into work, I mean, it's just a different scale. Andy? Yeah, I mean, we're constantly looking at it, no, no doubt. Um, we're also, and you know, going back, we're not trying to pick a winner, but we're looking, you know, be, you know seeing if there's infrastructure that's going to enable or help uh, a lot of the services taking place. Um, but it's definitely an area of in interest and focus that we've been spending time on. We, we think it's basically the future and, and how people will um, consume their content. And, and I think it's, it will change the way everyone views um, short form, long form um, content. It, it's extraordinary to watch. Um, we have this great place where we sit um, next to CA. So we, you know, they're, they're our partner and in, in, uh, minority partner in our investment bank and um, participate in our business. And so we have this amazing view to watch so much transpire in front of us. And one of the moments that was a real kind of aha moment was watching the TV department at CA delivered, I believe, the first eight original programs for Netflix. So, which then in turn created, I don't know, tens of billions of dollars, you know, a huge amount of market cap and value for Netflix, right? So I believe strongly in the power of content that differentiates um, a platform. And whether it was Maker and creating good content or whether it was Awesomeness TV having really, you know, there's, there's stories, but it always comes back to the power of the content. And I think OTT is just a very efficient delivery system that um, we'll, we'll, we're going to play a very active role in. I mean, it, it is very capital intensive. Um, these are big checks, but it, it's a, a very exciting proposition and, and trying to figure out um, how you can affect an outcome or launch or impact a business, I think, is, is a huge priority for us. Yeah, I, mean, I think you're exactly right. Tons of content out here. I think one of the bigger problems that we're also realizing is the search and discovery aspect of it. It's being a, with you know, just the numerous and, and, and content becoming cheaper to make and quality, quality stuff. It, it's the ability to find it and to, that's an area to us that's of, of real interest because of the numerous platforms that are out there. Can I ask a question? Yes. Because um, I'm, no. I'm sort of like, I, I mean, I continue to be a little bit um, m m uh, mystified by the OTT concept because to me, I mean, isn't like when everybody has an internet enabled television or device screen, like, isn't that OTT? Like, isn't that over the top? I do think we need, a better three letter, we need a better three letter monitor. I don't know. I, I mean, I just, I keep being like, well, isn't it YouTube? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it seems, yeah, and, I mean, and so, just, so why would I, I yeah, so, yeah, so why would, why would you, why would you create, like, I guess I just don't get it. I mean, if YouTube decided to just pay more money for high, higher quality shows, the then it's isn't not, that just OTT? Yeah, yeah I mean, I think <laughs> I it's basically over-the-top distribution yeah, of premium saying. content that's or okay, content that, that normally it. would go through the television. Yeah. So you're absolutely right. It, if, they, if it wasn't UGC, then it would be, it's just kind of demarcation between a certain type of... Or Quality call of it, content is the yeah, way that you guys exactly. do it. Right, I'd also think that the other piece of it is subscription, right? So will someone pay six, eight, ten bucks a month for that content like Crunchyroll, or Glenn Beck or others. And so that's the other differentiation that's, that's coming. And so I think there'll be, there'll be big bets uh, that many of our friends will make in that category.